Okay, uh, just a good work, uh, good work day today, and uh, preparation for Nebraska. And I thought they came out and responded well. So, uh, fire away. How do you prepare for a team uh, a lot bigger, stronger, more athletic than what you just saw? Well, it's just about uh, coming out here every day and practicing hard and doing our best and executing our technique and being fundamentally sound and playing with great effort. But realistically, again, it's, it's a totally different kind of a team. Well, that game's gone. I mean, each game, there's no carryover in games. I mean, you prepare each week for whoever you're playing. I mean, it doesn't, you know, we don't think about last game today. We're preparing for Nebraska, so it's it's, it's really irrelevant. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm thinking more of the size, though. You're preparing for this. It doesn't matter. Really? I mean, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. You practice and you play against who you play against, so it's just... I mean, you don't go in and go, oh, God, these guys are big. I mean, that's not what you're doing. You just come out and you, you practice and you execute your fundamentals and your technique and you give great effort and you let it roll. So how are your fundamentals and your technique coming up there again, boy? Uh, they're getting better, and they'll get better every week, yeah. Any surprises for you after that first game with the team? No, not really. Uh-uh. No. I mean, just like we thought coming out of the first game is there would be a lot that we needed to work on to get better at and there'd be some good things that we got to continue to do well and, uh, you know that's our focus when you look at a team like nebraska what what's your to-do list out here in order to prepare for them and what, what are their strengths that you have to work on well their strengths are uh offensively um, their quarterback their depth at running back uh the way they're balanced running and throwing the football uh their their depth overall you know they lost three offensive starters in the game the other day and they didn't miss a beat um, their scheme is difficult to defend because it's very diverse uh, defensively they're big and physical uh, Bo Pelini is an outstanding defensive mind and he'll have some good pressure packages for us and uh, you know all those things being said we've just got to come out and, and do what we do and execute and play hard what do you think from the first game from Brent uh... um, like just about everybody else on the team, you know, he did some good things and he, he's got some things he's got to improve on. Can you be more specific? Anything mm. stand out at all that he needs to improve on? Uh, I'd say all aspects of his game. Yeah. Just like everybody, you know, we've got to improve on everything. Just everything. And we will. Your first college game, uh, how, how'd it go for you there? He won. So it was a good game, yeah. So your first, your first game coming up, though, at home, you're going to have the whole atmosphere thing kick in. Uh, are you excited for that? You know, you as a coach, what you do is you block that out. You know, what matters is what's happening between the lines on the field, not what's happening in the stands behind you. And you don't, I'm, I've never thought of that, you know. I've been lucky to play in some big games in my life, so I don't think that this will be a whole lot different than, than any of those. But okay. they call it home field advantage for a reason. You're going to have uh, fans. Yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't ever played at the Rose Bowl besides when I was at the University of Washington, so I, I'm not sure what it would be like. But like I said, I've coached in hundreds of games and in some pretty darn big ones, so uh, I doubt I'll be overwhelmed. What about your experience at the Rose Bowl? What do you remember from that? Uh, one and one. We beat Iowa 28 to nothing, and we lost to Michigan. So. Was it special to be on that field? Though, what was that for? Sorry, I didn't Whatever. mean to do that. That was such a reaction. Was it special to be on that field, though, at that time? Yeah, I mean, that was 30 years ago or more. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a long The tradition, time ago. though, and all that. Oh, yeah, it's a great field. A great stadium. It's a wonderful place to play. Talk about the running game. The it running ours game. Or yeah, yours. Uh, we did some good things, and there's some things we got to shore up. We broke some big ones. We got to become more consistent on a on a down to down basis. We're sure working hard on doing. How about the matchup against their run D? What, what have you seen in them? Like I said before, they're big and physical up front. They're fundamentally sound. They've got a good pressure package. Um, they've got a lot of depth. Are you preparing like Burkett's going to play? We prepare for schemes, not necessarily players. Okay. Um, their scheme is not going to change no matter who's in there. So, like I said, it's about us executing fundamentals and playing hard and getting off blocks and standing on our feet and tackling well, regardless of what back's in there. Uh, but they're not going to change just because he's not in there. You know, they've got, they've got depth at that position. I mean, they, they didn't slow down a lick when he went out the other day. So, whoever shows up, we've got to be ready to contend with. Thoughts on your offensive line as well, though? They, they played pretty well the first game. Yeah, they, they played pretty well, but they've got to continue, just like everybody, they've got to continue to come out here every day and work hard and get better. Any injury update? No.
What do you do with Taylor Martinez, who seems to be developing into a, a better passer now than he was a season ago? I don't know if the word's developing or developed. I mean, he was really impressive. He, uh, you know, I know a lot has been made about you know uh, whether or not he could take that next step, and uh, all indications are he took it. You know, he took a giant leap. I mean, he looked really good. He looked comfortable in the pocket. He looked comfortable moving outside of the pocket. Uh, I mean, you know, he can run the football. He, he does everything well, and I, you know the thing I think I respect most about him is just his competitive spirit. I mean, the guy just keeps coming and keeps coming and keeps coming, and he's a fighter, and you really respect that in him. Besides the W, what's the best thing you take out of uh, week one? No injuries. Really? Yeah. yeah. And experience. Experience and no injuries. Where's that rah rah in Jim Moore that we talk about? You know, he's so low key. It's, it's like game this. week. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. These guys have been out here; they know. They've been out here for a couple of weeks. So, you know, yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody.